Okay, let's see. We want to control the turtle with the arrow keys. And we want to set up a procedure which will check to see which arrow key is being typed and act accordingly. So there is a way of um, getting single character inputs and that's using read care. So I can whoops so I can say show read care. And now you see that dot it's um, this, the system will wait until a character gets typed in and it will only listen to the first character. So if I type A, see read care becomes A. Um, now what I want is not the alphabetic character but it's ASCII representation. ASCII is a code that's used in most computer systems um, to represent the, the keyboard, the um, alphanumerics. And um, the ASCII codes are pretty standard for the basic keyboard. Uh, for new keys, um, then the, the ASCII code becomes different depending on what computer you're using. But you can always find out what the code is. And here in Logo, what we do is instead of, we say show ASCII, A-S-C-I-I, -I, read care. It's that simple. Now if I type A, it says it's 97. So, let's find out. Now I'm using, um, this on the system I'm using, the arrow keys will be probably different from the system you're using. But the way of finding out what those characters, what those ASCII codes are, is the same. So what we want to do is make up a procedure that... Um, checks on, I'm going to call it move, because that's what I usually call it. I like move. And what move is going to do is turn the job over to move one with the ASCII of read care. And so then to move one, dots, key, going to have to make a test. If, if dots key equals something, then we want the turtle to um, set its heading to zero and go forward five steps. You can always change this, but and if dots key equals something else, then set heading east to 90 and go forward 5. If dots key equals um, something else, let's say west, we're going to set the heading to 270 and go forward 5. And finally, if dots key equals some other ASCII code, set heading south, which is 180, and go forward 5. Okay, so now the job is to find out what the arrow keys are. So we'll come down to the um, command center and use show ASCII read care command. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to type in the up arrow. 
and that's 30. So right here, I'm going to put 30. Whoops. And now I'm going to, okay, type the right arrow key or east, and it's 29. So I'm going to put here 29. And now we're, I'm going to move this over a little. You've noticed we can move this over so that there. Um, next is we want to do the left arrow, which is west, and that's 28. So I'm going to stick 28 here. Okay. And now Finally, we want to do the arrow key, the down arrow key, or south, and that's 31. So I'm going to stick 31 here. And now let's try it. So I can get rid of all this stuff and say move. And you can see the turtle moved, but then move stopped. Did you notice that? I hit the up arrow key in them. Let's try that again. I'll show you again. Um, there's move, waiting for me to type something in, and I'm going to do up arrow. Okay, I'm going to do it once more, and this time I'm going to go to east there. Okay, the problem we have now, it works, it works, the program works, but we'd like it to be active all the time, so we need to say forever. Move. And now, see, I can use it many times. Okay, so that's how the arrow keys can be used. But I could also set it up so I could use spacebar or um, a whatever. And the way to do it is just what we did here. So have fun. Try it. It's um, one of the things you'll probably learn to do is to say what turtle you're talking to. If you have many turtles, you want to say, like, here, say, T, forever, T1 move. And then if you've got these other turtles on board, it, it will only speak to T1. So, um, more later.